Hello, it's uh, Chris and Derek from Penny's Hot Runs Customs again. Uh, we just finished, uh, well, I saw it in the last, well, we told you on the last video that the, yeah, the crappy intake, uh, Chinese intake leaked water and basically did mess the motor up, but got it all milkshaky. So we had to pull the motor out, pull it 100% apart, cleaned everything the last two days. Got it just back together now. We just finished priming the carb. Uh, so we're just ready to hopefully fire it up for the first time. Uh, we're hoping. We just got some stuff jury rigged just to make it happen, as you can see. Okay, uh, you got the screwdriver for yeah, that. I got that. Okay. okay. I got power. Okay, here we go.
skid light or, or electronic one. But we, can't, we couldn't get it out, it seized. There's the culprit. Bad. Oh, it's not smoking, just oil off the... We just got straight pipes right there. If you could hear me with all the <laughs> loud exhaust going on but it ran it charged it idled didn't shake it didn't blow anything out of here we had that open we had that one open uh, yeah it was pumping out 70 uh, when we were had about 2000 rpms it was pumping out like 70 pounds of uh oil pressure we got good break-in oil in this a little bit thicker so that's but at idle it was it was down to 65 so 
It's a win. Yeah. We fought all weekend. Definitely. We took everything apart. I even took the, the lifters all apart. Yeah. <laughs> Actually took the plungers, the spring, the plungers out of the lifters because the uh, sludge got in, the white milky sludge got in there and it, I a lot. I yeah. Not compress it. So all those were taken apart. That was the most time consuming cleaning of the spray out all the oil passages in the crank and wipe the bearings. And, uh. I can't believe how well it started. Sure, we still got to play with the time in a bit, but yeah. it started nice. Yeah, we got a little little mini starter in there. Worked perfectly. Yeah. Our ghetto uh, rod system yeah. on there. It's welded, so it's it's stable. Save up a few bars and our the right rad. battery is stable. This is about the same spot where we're gonna mount that, so. And then that's just a push button. I, it's gonna be a push, start, push, bar, push start anyways inside, so. That charges, beautiful. Yeah, it charges. So. Definitely a win after fighting all weekend. Yeah. It was nothing wrong with that intake. It just they machined it too narrow. Yeah. It, it, I think it's about fifteen thousand narrow. Yeah. So. Yeah, because we were sticking. Well, after we bolted it up with a second set of head, or in gaskets, we could put a five thou or eight thou feeler gauge yeah. in there in the back there, right where the oil water passages go through. So. I think the biggest I found was 14 or 15 thou. But, oh well. That thing didn't go in the garbage. Yeah. I don't think anybody tried fixing it. No. No. If it runs good with this intake, I'll just leave it. I wanted a dual plane, but. Yeah, like it's a little tame 318 for a single plane, but we have it. Yeah. Quite happy about it, so. Yeah, so we got some more testing you. We got to look at that, see if that it still turns over. But we actually, when the last time we started this, we were cooking the paint off it because we just had the lines plugged off because we don't have the lines made up. No. So we thought we cooked it, but it might be okay. So we just bypassed it with another. Another line, another belt. Uh, and that's not the carburetor we're going to use. We just use it for breaking because we know it's a good carburetor. We didn't know the one one before was it's been rebuilt, but I don't think there's anything wrong with the one we rebuilt. No, it's just one less to worry about. Yeah, but we won't work on it next weekend. No, we're heading to Calgary in four days three days whatever it is wednesday, wednesday. it is monday? no it's sunday. easter easter sunday right now oh yeah we're working <laughs> instead of uh eating uh <laughs> our e turkey dinner or easter dinner we're working on this <laughs> uh, yeah um yeah we just got to figure out because our original plan was to put a mechanical temperature gauge, but we can't get the line out there because it's seized and it's just going to snap. So it's got a right there for electronic ones. So we'll just have to get an electronic gauge Yeah. for that. I think I have one. Uh, yeah, we got the oil pressure hooked up. Uh, yeah. The wiring isn't exactly, it was just cobbled together, but yeah. start doing the, some of the wiring at least. Uh, I guess now I can get back to the body work. Get it's back on the body work, yeah. In the now. Yep. I got a dry shaft, I just got to change the, the bearing. Yeah. We might have to modify the drive yeah. shaft. We might go for a drive down the street with with it looking like this. 
Yeah, just, just, just putt, 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 nothing. Yeah, we're not going to be doing <laughs> burnouts. I think maybe we'll try to shoot, not next weekend, the weekend after. Just going for a little drive down the street. Mm -hmm. Because we keep te Derek keeps testing the brake pedals and they and yeah. the clutch and they still still work so that and the clutch pedal still work it's been sitting for um, two years yeah the only thing that happened is still got to change that stupid brake line piece that oh yeah the uh, yeah the proportioning valve yeah, proportion it still works but it yeah. doesn't work properly I got a new one anyway. yeah don't buy the cheap ones off Amazon. No, that's the second bad one. Yeah, Corey had the same thing, problem. So we bought a Willwood, and that has to go in, uh, yeah. So I'm happy that there's no water in the oil. That's... I'm oh. getting frustrated over there. Yeah. So, yeah. Bed's a, a mess of parts and... Here's my uh, template of the gas tank. <laughs> I don't know how well well that's. It's got a little wet, uh, so I might have to redo that. Yeah. Good thing is we got another box there. Yeah. To make for a gas tank template. Yeah. Oh, uh, and we got stainless. Uh, where's the stainless exhaust? Oh, yeah, there's some stainless exhaust. Derek had kicking around, so. Use that. He's got some brand new thrush uh, cherry bombs. So yeah, that's the gauge we're putting in. So from a Ford Falcon, fits nicely in there. Yeah, the cherry bomb in there. Yep. Deco. <laughs> thrush cherry bombs. Well, not cherry bombs, but thrush. It ain't gonna be much. Yeah. <laughs> yep. But what I for, wanted. For a little 318, it's perfect. So, I'm getting uh, hungry. So, I'm gonna snack on some chips or something and get a drink. And so, I think we're gonna leave this as is. If I could flip the camera on, there we go. So, yeah, if I said before, if I could do a back flip, flip, I would, but I would be in the hospital. So, that's his. Uh, Excited as I'm gonna get right now because I'm tired. We've been putting many hours into this thing uh, So yeah, thanks for watching subscribe comment Comment on that intake if you want uh, <laughs> There's um, people did comment that we said we would have problems, but then we read some guys that they had no issues But we might have had a bad one. I don't know so Talk to you next time in probably a couple weeks. So we'll see you later. Goodbye. <laughs>